see one guy rocking the AirPods Pro Max. Oh, so I see a lot of people have jumped off the 504 replacement bus to get on the... Uh, I was just saying, uh, a lot of people just jumped off the 504 replacement bus to get on this uh, 505 uh, streetcar. Very interesting. I did say uh, I was getting a little restless uh, waiting for the bus to depart um, but you know really it was only uh, it's only a few minutes and one thing that people got to understand which most people don't understand is when the bus uh, sometimes the bus lays over that's a layover uh, meaning that the, the bus has to leave at a scheduled time so if the bus is um, the bus can't leave early so if the bus is a little bit ahead of schedule uh, they have to wait until the scheduled time to leave or like sometimes even um, the uh, like bus operators uh, bus drivers are human right so they need to use the washroom or get a coffee all right we just passed the intersection of dundas street west and Burr. and uh, as i was saying uh, more people need to understand or a lot more TTC commuters need to understand that bus operators are human, right? So sometimes, uh, oftentimes, uh, they'll go through a shift, uh, no break, and that's why you know you may see uh, bus operators jump, uh, you know, quickly grabbing a coffee or you know having to use the washroom. Um, so yeah, just uh, try, please try and understand that. Uh, operators are very pleasant uh, very chill very cool I've talked to many of them that's an interesting Starbucks I definitely want to uh, check out that location but um, yeah I guess I'll explore this area at another day because I want to get this uh, round trip ride over like that's my first priority I'll I can always come back but um, uh, as I said I haven't been in this area in quite some time so uh, definitely will be very interesting to explore um, some of the goodies some good eats or interesting places so I didn't get a chance to calculate uh, exactly how long it took for the my previous trip coming up here uh, but right now uh, like I said I want to do a round trip uh, video if I don't like I said I'll probably split it up um, because uh, as I said if I were to do as you uh, if you've seen my 506 Carlton replacement bus video it was about approximately 50 minutes and it took about about a day and a half like it took more than a day it took like a day and a half to fully process the 4k and I don't want to go through it out again I want to be able to especially I wanted to get that video out quickly so and same same thing with this ride I have I want to I want to get uh, something out by tomorrow so I'll, I'll probably do the first half of, uh, of the trip from King Street West and University to Dundas Street West Station uh, try and get that out tomorrow uh, and then maybe the second half of this trip uh, on Sunday because if I combine them in, into one as I said um, probably have to wait till Sunday to launch it there's no way I'm gonna be launching a video that's not 4k I mean, these days you gotta if you're a content creator you must it is a must to um, uh, launch a 4k video because I'm um, because uh, I don't know what, I don't want to say most people, but I don't know what the percentage is, but uh, a lot of people uh, want to watch on their four big uh, 4K TVs, so. I'm 
mean, there's some people, um, even myself sometimes, uh, watch YouTube on the phone. But in which, uh, in, in which case, 4K is not necessary. Uh, 1080p would be uh, more than sufficient. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, if you're a content creator, you must, you must uh, launch your video in 4K. Don't launch it like, because when it's still processing, let me tell you something. Let me break it down for you. When it processing 4K, HD and 4K, first they process your video in SD, okay? SD, which is 480, okay, and 720p. Um, like I said, that's just not good enough. Uh, if you're watching on big screen TV or even you know, your computer, uh, on a mobile device, it's, it's fine. But like I said, most people watch on a computer or a big screen TV. Now, you know, um, they process in SD first, and then it takes a, quite a bit longer to process in HD and 4K, okay? So you make sure that, like, let's say you want to get a video out the next day, like, you got to make sure to, um, you should give yourself about a good 24 hours, depending on how long your video, like, um, I think if your video... I think this is uh, a one-way trip, it's a, approximately half an hour, I care about. So, 24 hours should be enough time um, to upload your video and process in 4K. But if it's like a, if it's getting on like an hour, uh, yeah, it's, it's not gonna, you're gonna need uh, like two days or day and a half, two days. So. Just keep that, be mindful of that. Some uh, residential homes. But yeah, basically uh, I'm on the 504 King replacement bus going back into downtown. So we're gonna get the view from the other side if you've uh, seen my uh, previous video. Uh, if you haven't, check it out. dozen 504 replacement buses um, probably at least 10 so uh, they were coming quite frequently and as I said I wanted to see what all the fuss was about on this because I do here unfortunately things happen and uh, there are issues sometimes with the 504 but I as you can see uh, from my previous video and so far right now uh, don't seem to be any issues. Most of the issues arise during rush hour. Okay, so you know that's when, uh, unfortunately, some commuters uh, get frustrated. Um, so I'll have to do that sometime. I'll have to suck it up, even though I don't really, uh, Next stop. I don't really want to be on the 504 during rush hour. Believe you me, but uh, if I really want to give you guys a a real look uh, I gotta suck it up and just do it but that'll be for another day for now you get York Street and um, 
if it has time, it'll do a little layover there. You often see buses uh, doing layover. If you're on York Street, um, between King and Adelaide, uh, you'll often see 504 uh, buses there uh, uh, laying over. So, in a way, that's kind of a good sign because that, that gives these bus operators, uh, that means they're giving pl plenty of time for these bus operators to, to drive the route. On a lot of routes, okay, I, I, I don't want to confuse anyone and get in too much into it here, but that's another thing you got to understand. Next stop, Montevideo Is that often the planning department for the TTC often does not give enough sufficient time for a lot of the routes, bus routes. So bus operators are often, uh, bus drivers are often feel a bit of a pressure because, uh, I mean, you can see, you, you, like we all know, Toronto has a lot of construction. And shout out to the construction, all the construction crew out there. Um, I know, I know that it definitely affects commuting, and I know it can be a pain uh, for people, but you know, for the greater good. Uh, when there's a lot of construction happening, that means you know Toronto's booming. People want to be here and live here, work here. Um, also improving uh, aging infrastructure so for the most part when you see a lot of construction it's a good sign I mean if you're a place where there's nothing going on there's no construction no development you know I mean uh, I, if I was living in a place like that I'd be a little bit worried so you know it's called progress I do prefer Orion's over uh, Nova's but the one thing I will say about when I was on the 506 Carlton replacement bus most of those um, buses I believe are Nova's or at least the trip that I the, the video that I did I was on an Orion uh, Nova on the 506 replacement bus and uh, on those buses it's easier in, in some ways it's easier to record
We just completed our, successfully completed our round trip on the 504 King replacement bus. We're back um, as, uh, there you see the bus behind me. But uh, yeah, uh, leave a comment and like and subscribe and share. Thank you.